trendy reports of the freeing and resettling of hundreds of Boko Haram terrorists on the orders of President Muhammad Buhari is not just an unpardonable ethical crime, but amounts to an impeachable offense by the president because it undermines the basis of the rule of law, says Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Huriwa. This was the conclusion reached by the prominent civil rights advocacy group, Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, in a statement made against the backdrop of the report of the release by the military of 1,009 S Boko Haram fighters of the, to the Bono state government. Besides, Huriwa has asked President Buhari to release Mazenam de Kanu and all detained members of the banned indigenous people of Biafra because in the thinking of the group, if governments can undermine the constitution to free hardened terrorists, why is the government detaining members of a self-determination group that denies government accusations of its involvement in the killings of security operatives in the southeast of Nigeria? Riwa recalled that the Nigeria military on Wednesday released 1,009 S Boko Haram insurgents who had been in military custody at Giwa Barracks in Meduguri, the Bono state's capital. Uriwa cited media reports said the former terrorists were handed over to Bono state government in a secret ceremony that was initially built to take place at an earlier date but was suspended indefinitely by the military authorities as the wake at the wake of the appointment of the new COS, Chief of Army Staff. Rewa said sources in the army informed Punch that the ex terrorists were handed over to the Commissioner for Women Affairs and Social Development, Ajia Zuwara Gambu, who represented the state government at the event. The officer said the army handed 1,009 Boko Haram insurgents to the state government on Wednesday. It was done in secret. We were warned not to allow journalists to the venue. Uriwa in a media statement by Comrade Emmanuel Owubiko, the national coordinator and the director of media affairs, Ms. Zainab Yusuf, has called on the National Assembly to wake up from slumber and defend the constitution by compelling President Muhammadu Buhari to stop breaking the law by releasing terrorists and to move to impeach him should he refuse to reincide the unconstitutional conduct. Uriwa said releasing terrorists is counterproductive for the following logical reasoning. It is said the culture of violence brings with a class bring with it a class of queer people who believe that they are entitled to determine the value other humans. This is a reality which dawns on a society with weak criminal justice system where crime is not only prevalent and underreported and officially rarely documented but also seldom meted with sanctions. This state of affairs breeds a most vile, oppressive and daring criminal sets like kidnappers and armed bandits. The U.S. Department of State's Overseas Security Advisory Council Reports on Nigeria indicate that kidnapping for ransom occurs throughout the country. There is hardly a part of the country which has not experienced kidnapping and armed banditry in recent times. And most disturbing is the hard fact that there does not appear to be a conscious and concerted effort to arrest the situation. This subject therefore deserves attention and the reason for this paper. Kidnapping and abduction are used interchangeably to describe the forceful taking of confinements of another against their will for several illegal purposes. Some criminal legislation in Nigeria defines the terms as different sides of a crime, while in some others the age or state of mind of the victim is the distinguishing factor. A lot of the states of the South have passed laws criminalizing kidnapping and abduction according to Section 1 of the Kidnapping Prohibition Law of Lagos State 2017. The term kidnap includes the act of unlawful removal or abduction of persons from a place to another against the person's will. 
either by force or use of offensive weapons, firearms or deception, or the act of holding somebody hostage with, with or without the person's consent, with the intent to demand ransom for ritual killing or for any other unlawful purpose. By Section 2 of the law, the punishment for abduction is life imprisonment, but where death results from the kidnapping, the punishment is death sentence. The section provides thoughts. Oh my God! Ah. <laughs> well, in a long, in a long, um, long, in a nutshell, is that what is good for the goose is good for the ganders. You see how warriors scatter everywhere. Of course, they are calling all these senators to go to impeach warrior to warn him. They are in it together because they don't see anything wrong in it. They are in it together. And there is nothing anybody can do. But the way people are speaking, they should continue to speak like that. But at the end of the day, we know that we know where they belong to. We know where the Senate belongs to, where the uh, presidents and the rest of them, where they belong to, what they stand for. You see that they have been on this matter since close to two, three years. Rehabilitating, re radicalizing, and reintegrating people into this into society. And after which they have told us that all of those things have never yielded any positive results. But when it comes to secessionists, those who are calling for breakup, oh my God, that is the highest offense in the land as far as Buddhist Buhari, Buhari's government is concerned. People are talking, but they are just looking for a loophole to be able to nail anybody to the cross, nail you to the wall. That is what they are looking for. What is good for the goose is good for the ganders. If those people... I could remember even uh, Senator Shea was saying, was saying that uh, if those who are, they have not even killed, that the problem, that their problem in North is not a uh, Namdekano or Sunday go, that the problem they have is the bandits. And he called the names of all those people who are living, the banditry and the kidnappers and whatever in the North. But everybody was telling us that they don't have a known face to that. Who is deceiving who? Those ones are the ones killing people every day. But all those other ones, they are not the problems of the North. Because they have not even killed anybody. Their people are not even complaining. Of course, the Buhari government has just embarrassed itself, disgraced itself all over the country, all over the world, not all over the country alone. It's very, very unfortunate. Where PMB has a secret agenda in Nigeria, but God will destroy it and expose him in Jesus' name. Amen. Only the IPOB is peaceable in courts, south and south, south, sorry. Releasing terrorists and detaining agitators. Ha! God, please make haste and separate the South from the North. As usual, Presidency APC Gabashew and Lai Mohammed will tell you it's fake news, the only language of this uh, administration. <laughs>